po wait less uh, proceed tayo sa normal approximation to the uh, binomial so yung previous na diniskas natin is the application of uh, normal distribution so uh, if x is a binomial random variable with uh, mean mu is equal to n times p and variance uh, sigma square is equal to n p q then the limiting form of the distribution is equal to z is equal to uh, x minus n p over square root uh, of n p q so parang uh, yung sa normal distribution na formula natin yung mu uh, ipinalit lang natin yung n p then yung sa uh, standard deviation natin yung square root ng n p q wherein itong ating uh, uh, NP at saka square root ng NPQ ay yung ating theorem uh, dun sa ating binomial distribution. So, it turns out that the normal distribution with uh, uh, mu equals NP and the uh, sigma squared is equal to NPQ not only provides a very accurate approximation to the binomial distribution when N is large and P is not uh, extremely close to 0 or 1 but uh, also it provide a fairly good approximation when n is a small and p is reasonably close to 50% uh, or 1 half. So using binomial approximation, so i-check natin itong uh, example natin kapag binomial approximation. So, the probability that a patient recovers from a rare, uh, rare blood disease uh, is 40%. If 100 people are known to have contracted with uh, this disease, what is the probability that uh, it is less than, that less than 30 survive? So, yung ating binomial distribution, so n is equal to 100, p is equal to 0.4, and x is less than 30. So, ang gagawin natin using calculator, so, summation, then 0 to 29 yung ating uh, uh, ilalagay na value. Then, uh, 100 si alpha x times 0.4 uh, raised to alpha x times 0.6 raised to 100 minus alpha x. So, ang lalabas na probability ng less than 30 survive is uh, 0 0.0148. Pero, kapag normal approximation uh, to binomial, so, ito, using normal distribution, Ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Yung x minus np over the square root of npq. So, bali, uh, same example ito. Pero, uh, uh, yung gagamitin natin na uh, since, di ba, ang hinahanap natin is less than 30. So, kapag normal distribution, so, ang gagawin natin ay, uh, then ang hinahanap ay less than 30, ang gagawin natin ay mamainasan natin ng uh, 0.5. Then, yung 29.5, yun yung gagamitin natin na value na x para makuha natin yung uh, area or yung percentage na uh, less than 30. So, isa-substitute lang natin. Yung x natin is 29.5 instead na uh, 29 or 30 minus n na 100 times 0.4 na probability ng success. Then, square root ng 100 times 0.4 times 0.6. Then, lalabas na value ng z natin is negative 2.14. Then, uh, yung ating uh, probability ng negative 2.14, so, pwedeng sa table or sa calculator, is 0 0.0162. So, kung mapapansin nyo, mayroong difference yung uh, area or yung percentage between uh, normal distribution or using normal di distribution and the binomial distribution or the approximate to binomial. So, pero kapag uh, normal distribution, ito yung uh, i-apply natin na formula. So, z is equal to x minus np over the square root of npq. So, proceed tayo sa example. So, example for no normal approximation to binomial. So, number one, a coin is toast 400 times. Use the normal curve approximation to find the probabilities of obtaining, so letter A, between 185 and 210 heads inclusive. So, kapag gantong between 185 and 210, so hindi 185 and 210 yung ating ilalagay na value ng x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, for 185, ang gagamitin natin is 100, 
84.5. So, mamainusan natin ng 0.5 and for 210, ang gagawin natin is iaada natin ng 0.5. Magiging 210.5. So, yun yung gagamitin natin na value ng x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, substitute lang dun sa ating formula. Then, uh, kung makikita nyo, yung ating n is equal to 400 times. Then, since probability na obtaining head, ang ating uh, outcome lang kapag coin is head and tail, meaning 50% for head and 50% for tail. So, times 0.5, then square root ng 400 times 0.5 times 0.5. So, z sub 1 natin is negative 1.55 and z sub 2 is 1.05. Then, after mong makuha yung value ng J, so, pwede na nating makuha yung probability between 185 and 210. So, pwede nating gamitin yung calculator, yung shortcut, o kaya naman ay dun sa table. So, probability where X is uh, less than 210.5, but greater than 184.5. So, meaning yung between 185, uh, 185 and 210 is equal to 0 0.8531 minus 0 0.0606. So, i-check nyo na lang sa table or sa calc -U. So, ang uh, probability natin is 79.25% or 0.7925. So, yan yung answer for uh, letter A for between 185 and 210. So, proceed tayo for letter B. So, paano naman kapag exactly 205 heads? So, find the probability of obtaining uh, exactly 205 heads. So, ang gagawin lang natin, yung uh, 205 mamay nasa natin ng 0.5 at saka iaadda natin ng 0.5. Then kukunin natin yung uh, difference ng kanyang probability. So for say sub 1, x sub 1 natin is 204.5. Then for say sub 2, ang x sub 2 natin is 205.5. So substitute lang ulit yung ating n na 400 and yung ating p na 0.5. So lalabas na z sub 1 is equal to 0.45 and z sub 2 is equal to 0.55. So i-check natin sa a table or sa calculator, ano ba yung probability natin kapag yan yung value ng z natin. So, probability where x is 200, uh, less than 205.5 but greater than 204.5 is equal to 0 0.7088 minus 0 0.6736 or equal to 0 0.0352 or 3.52%. So, yan yung... Uh, Gagawin or yan yung solution kapag exactly. So, bali mag a ka ng uh, 0.5, then mag, uh, ma mag subtract ka ng 0.5, then kukunin mo yung difference ng kanyang probability. So, proceed tayo sa less than 176 head. So, paano naman kapag less than yung uh, tinatanong sa problem? So, ang gagawin lang natin, uh, dun sa ating formula, so, yung value na 176, mamainusan natin ng 0.5. So, 175.5 minus 400 times 0.5 over the square root ng 400 times 0.5 times 0.5, z is equal to negative 2.45. So, kapag less than, kung ano yung value ng, yung probability ng z natin, so, yun na yung uh, probability mismo. So, meaning yung kanyang probability is 0 0.0071 or less than 176 heads. So, paano naman kapag more than 227 heads or kapag yung ating uh, mga problem ay naka uh, more than. So, kapag more than, so, aadan lang natin ng uh, 0.5 yung ating value. So, kung 227, magiging 227.5. Then, substitute natin sa ating formula ng normal approximation to binomial. 227.5 minus 400 times 0.5 over square root ng 400 times 0.5 times 0.5 is equal to 2.75 or positive 2.75. So, yung value ng uh, uh, positive 2.75 sa ating table or sa cal calculator is 0.9970. Pero since more than yung ating hinahanap na uh, area or probability, Ang gagawin natin is 1 minus dun sa uh, value ng 2.75. Kaya yung ating probability kapag more than is 0 0.0030 or laging 1 minus dun sa probability ng uh, value ng Z na nakuha. So, ibig sabihin yan yung ating answer. 0 0.0030. So, proceed tayo sa 
So, another example, number 2. So, a process yield 10% defective item. If 100 items are randomly selected from the process, what is the probability that the number of defects exceeds by 13 and less than 8? So, so kapag exceeds by 13, so ang gagawin natin ay, ay a-add natin ng 0.5. So, dun sa ating problem, ang ating n is equal to 100, then pin natin is 0.1, ibig sabihin ang q natin is 0.9. So, magiging 13.5 minus 100 times 0.1 over the square root ng 100 uh, times 0.1 times 0.9. Makukuha natin value ng Z is positive 1.17. So, ang value ng 1.17 sa calculator or sa table is 0.879. Pero, ang tinatanong natin is probability that the number of defects exceeds by 13, meaning 1 minus dun sa value ng uh, 1.17. So, kaya ang ating answer is 12.1% uh, or 0 0.1210. Then, for less than 8 naman, ang gagawin natin ay mamainasan natin ng 0.5. So, ibig sabihin 8 minus 0.5 is 7.5. Minus 100 times 0.1 over the square root of 100 times 0.1 times 0.9. So, ang value natin ng say is negative 0.83. So, ang, uh, kapag tinignan natin sa calculator or sa table, ang uh, value niya is 0 0.2033 or 20.33%. So, since less than yung ating tinatanong, uh, yun na yung ating answer, uh, 0 0.2033. So, hindi na natin kailangan mag-subtract na 1 minus dun sa probability. So, ginagawa lang natin yun kapag... Uh, greater than yung ating uh, hinahanap. Pero kapag between, laging uh, meron tayong uh, value ng uh, Z2 minus Z1 or yung probability ng uh, value ng Z2 minus uh, Z1. Then kapag naman uh, exactly then naka-normal approximation to binomial, so ang gagawin natin ay yung uh, value pa din yung may nag-add ka ng 0.5, then nag-less ka ng 0.5, then yung difference ng kanilang probability. So, yun lang yung uh, mahalagang uh, na kailangan nating uh, pag-aralan dito sa application ng normal distribution tsaka sa normal approximation to binomial. So, yun lang class.